hello welcome to today's video i am kicking this vlog off with a little bit of self-care i'm about to touch up my hair and i thought i would show you guys what i'm using um and a little bit of how i do it not too much because honestly i just stick to what's on the box um and we're just gonna do a little bit of self-care i also have a sponsor for today's video this video is sponsored by billy and i'm gonna talk a little bit about their razors first let me set you guys down though By the way, I don't know if you guys can tell, but your girl got a nice little tan. I look nice and bronzy and glowy. Um, I came back from Vegas, and well, I think I already told you guys, and um, nice little tan, and I'm not mad at it. I did, however, come back with a little cold though, and so I'm kind of like clearing up from that right now. Okay, so today we're talking about Billy's razors. And after I shower, um, you know, from dyeing my hair and stuff, I'm gonna use this razor here. But I have two of their razors. I have this pink one right here, and I have this bluish gray one. But the main thing about Billy is the fact that their products do not have any pink tax. And if you are not familiar with pink tax, Pink tax is literally, and I'm going to read it like word for word just so you guys like really know what it means. But it refers to the tendency of products marketed specifically toward women to be more expensive than those marketed for men. So women's razors, feminine products, things like that that are sold to be more expensive and have an additional tax or additional expense attached to them simply because they're women's products. So the Billy Razors do not have any pink tax and they do have quite a few products that you can choose from. Their razors, these specifically that I have right here, they do have this magic holder where it has like a little bit of putty on the back as you can see here. It has a little bit of putty and you can stick this to your shower and then the razor attaches to it and stays like that sleek perfect simple in your shower and it also comes with two five blade razors it has a one that comes attached to it and then they give you an additional additional one right here their razors are designed for more sensitive skin so although they have the five blades it is going to give you a close smooth shave while still being good for sensitive skin on top of them not having the pink tax they are also at an affordable price point so you're not like paying for the pink tax because they're raising the price of else the product itself is very affordable i believe it's about like half the price of like regular old school razors and they have free shipping on top of that so i will have a link down below for billy and billy's products and billy's razors so you guys can check them out so i'm going to use this right now in the shower and then i have my pink backup one as well and thank you to billy for sponsoring today's video now for my hair <laughs> i am gonna use the same hair dye so i recently went back to my hair colorist and did like a hair touch up a trim and all that stuff um in between my more major hair care appointments i like to just kind of touch up at home and i'll give myself a little trim or whatever so usually what i'll use is the garnier nutris nourishing color cream and i picked up the color sweet cola 30 which is the darkest brown and i got two boxes that's what i'm going to use today so my hair right now is pretty dark um still but i'm noticing that in my roots which you can't even tell because i kind of put some product in it's slick back right now but like around here it's starting to fade out a little bit and i just need a color touch up to make it like nice and rich so um, I am using this. I kind of go back and forth between some colors. Sometimes I'll use this color. Sometimes I'll use the one that's like under this one that's a little bit lighter. But for today, I kind of figured I wanted to use this right here. Stru instructions are very easy. Um, we'll go to the bathroom and I'll show you right now. All right, so for this hair, there's not much to it, to be honest. I just follow the instructions literally step by step for what's on the box and i don't know what it is about this hair dye but it just kind of makes my hair feel like really healthy even though i'm dyeing it like after i think maybe it's like what they have you put in it this little thing right here but it just makes my hair my hair feels really healthy after um dyeing it i'm gonna wash my makeup brushes right now too 
and I normally do this once every like two months or so I want to say uh, depending it just depends on how my hair is fading out if I'm finding that like oh, you know what I need a little extra TLC or whatever then I'll do it more often but for the most part most part I, I do it like once every two-ish months so all you do is literally take a which is this one here and you put the color in there B it in there and it does come with everything you need including the gloves in case you've never used um like box dye before then you take the little green thing this is step c so this is the third step you just kind of like snap it and what i'm gonna do too is put a little bit of aquaphor around my hairline because i don't want the dye to like get on my skin you can use like vaseline too but i don't have vaseline so i'm just gonna use my uh, aqua form see if that kind of helps a little bit so once that's all in there you just put the glove on and you shake it up and that's it and i do Depending on how my hair is looking, I'll do like two boxes. I think I just made my roots actually. So I'll, I'll save the box for another root touch up day. And I usually, uh, after applying, I leave this for about like 30 minutes or so. And there's not really a whole lot of like rhythm and rhyme to it. All I do is separate my hair into sections or section by section. Since I'm just doing my roots, I don't have to be too like strategic about it. And I just kind of squeeze it out. And rub it in. And of course, if you're doing this at home, make sure you put on a shirt that you can easily take off and that you're not afraid to stain if you need to or end up staining. Because I've made the mistake of wearing like a really tight white shirt when dyeing my hair and it's like not the smartest thing. So just be mindful of that. See? That should be good and then i put it up into a room and let it sit for i'll do like 20 25 minutes
here's how my hair turned out after coloring it i uh obviously straightened it curled it out a little bit and my roots look so much like richer and it looks like nice and healthy is there something in my hair? but i think it came out good i did just do my roots so i feel like it looks like nice and fresh and good but i'm heading out right now to get my car wash you guys know i always wash my car i had a big old crack on my windshield and so i couldn't wash my car for a while i got it replaced a few days ago and i haven't had the chance to go get my car like fully fully washed so because i had to wait a few days after they replaced the windshield to go ahead and wash it so i'm gonna go do that right now and then i need to run to target to get some laundry stuff because i i need laundry like stuff soap detergent um all that stuff in general but i also want to do a spring cleaning uh reel maybe maybe also for youtube i don't know i'll see but i need to stock up on some things like to clean up around here just to like spring clean and keep everything nice and fresh and then i need to get some gift bags too for my mom's mother's day gift this weekend coming up coming weekend i'm going to the lovers and friends concert and i'm excited i don't know what i'm wearing yet i do need to go look for outfits i have one outfit that's a maybe but it's a romper my cousin's like are you really gonna wear a romper to a festival like having to fully take it off when you need to go to the restroom and stuff so i was like oh i didn't even i didn't even think about that so i might go later on this week to look for like an outfit or something and then i'll probably do another little pack with me portion since we are going to be leaving this weekend and that is it for now so let's head out to go and get this car washed I'm currently at the drive-thru. I'm gonna get some food right now, but I have a few things that I have to go do before this weekend. I need to go look for a suitcase because the suitcase that I used a few weekends ago that I went, it's not mine and I wanted to go get a new suitcase anyway. So I'm gonna try to hit up Marshalls or a TJ Maxx around here and see if maybe they have some suitcases. And then I need to go to AutoZone or like a car shop store, car parts or car, you know what I'm talking about. Cause I need to get some brake fluid. I went to get an oil change the other day and the guy was like, um, uh, you need to top off your brake fluid, but we don't do that here or whatever. So I need to go do that before. Cause we're gonna take my truck. We are driving out to Vegas. Um, we wanted to fly, but it the tickets it, they were just way too expensive to go to Vegas when we could just drive there and just kind of like switch whoever drives or whatever it just makes it a lot easier so we're going to take my car since it's like nice and spacious so that's why I went to go get my oil change I washed my car and then I need to go top off my brake fluid I want to go to the mall because I've been wanting to get the Yeezy foam runners for a while now but I, I don't know why I don't just order them online. I should just order them, but there's like a store in the mall that sells them and I want to see if they have my size because I've gone a few times and every, every time that I've gone, they don't have my size. So I want to go see if they have my size and if they do, I'm going to get those. If not, I'll probably just end up ordering them online finally and just getting them because I've been wanting them for, for some time and I just haven't gotten my hands on them. I was thinking of going to do my nails because I went to this old spot that I used to go to and I didn't like the way that they did them. They were just kind of like rushing through it and they look kind of messy. The good thing is that they're nude so you can't, it just looks like my natural nail color and you can't even really tell. I'm contemplating on whether or not I want to do them before I go over there oh my brows i'm gonna go get my brows done i do my brows at this place inside the mall so i'm gonna go when i go look for my slides i'm gonna go uh, and see if 
there uh, for you to do my eyebrows just for a little touch up my skin is doing so good lately um, I will say I'm getting a little bit of uh, like texture up here I would say but I think that's because I've been switching between like different cleansers so maybe that's why my skin is looking so good as of lately it's kind of like clearing up a little bit and um my scars are like slowly slowly fading i did get a new breakout right here though but that's what's on the agenda for today and then i might go to rite aid because there are these new whitening strips teeth whitening strips that i saw somebody post like a sponsorship for and i was like hmm i want to try those they're like lumin lumino what are they called something like lumino I don't know but they sell them there so I might go do that those are like a, the few things that I have on my list by the way I got a new water jug water bottle this one actually fits in my uh, what do you call it my cup holder in my car got this one and I got another one that I really like too but it's like an ombre black water bottle I'll link it down below for you I find that this one this one hasn't leaked at all and I usually I like throw it around and so far so far so good no regrets all right none this is so good <coughs> I didn't really put any ice. Oh I order just the number two, which is like one patty. I was thinking about doing a double double, but I was like, relax. So I did a single patty with its cheeseburger with lettuce and light grilled onions. I wanted to add, you know that you can add the little peppers, you can ask for chopped uh, chili, like chili pepper in there, and they do that, and it tastes really good. I wanted to do it, but I was like, no. Where am I going to throw this? I don't want my car to smell like in and out. And then I brought a fruit and nut bar that's what you call balance <laughs> mm, I don't know which one they're both really nice real quick let me show you guys what i found at the mall so i ended up making a stop at zara didn't really intend on doing that but here we are so i i was gonna go to sephora to get my kiehl's moisturizer but there was a kiehl store there so i just picked up because sometimes sephora doesn't have the big size so this one i can have it at home and then the one that i have right now is a small version of it and that one i can use it for when i'm not home and i need to you know take my moisturizer but i want something a little smaller and i did end up getting this suitcase so i saw a few of them but this one kind of caught my eye the most i guess like the color of it and it just felt more sturdy than the other ones the brand is samsonite i think that's how you pronounce it and it was a hundred bucks 109.99 suitcases are expensive but you know usually i have them for a while and i just really like the color it's a little different usually i go for all black because all black is just clean and if it gets scratched up it doesn't look as bad but i figured i would go for this like brown tone one just for something different and um the size is perfect too because the one that i had or that i used for my parents is like the carry-on size and it was just a little too small i'm only going to be there for a few days but i want to have options in terms of outfits and i'd rather just take 
one bag with everything rather than taking a bag and then a smaller bag with like my smaller things i just kind of want to do one bag that's it so that is what i ended up getting there i got whitening strips so these are the ones i was talking about that i saw somebody post about and i'd never seen these usually i use the crest 3d white strips but i decided to give these a try so these are supposed to have like no um no harsh chemicals like hydrogen peroxide um they use coconut oil sage oil lemon peel to whiten teeth without the sensitivity so i give them a try see if i like them it comes with 28 strips so a total of 14 treatments because it has a top strip and a bottom one so random just random buy i'm probably gonna try this out tomorrow or tonight and then at TJ Maxx, they also had these uh, dryer balls because I wanted to get this for when I wash my comforter just so it kind of dries a little bit better. And um, yeah, I don't know. I heard that this or like tennis balls usually work really well. So I just decided to get those. And then at Zara, I've got a few things for summertime and then like an upcoming trip that I'm going on like these sandals. So freaking cute, my gosh. And luckily they had my size in store because a lot of times they don't have my size. So I just thought these were so bomb. And then they strap up. I just love them. This is like an island vacation sandal. And then I got the, this uh, corset bustier top. Kind of looks like lingerie, but it's a top. Looks like this. So the bottom part is like see-through, but then when you get to the top, it's not. And it's just a strapless top. And I thought this would be cute for like jeans and a top for like a night out or something. A little sexy moment, you know? So that, and then I got these trousers that are, hold on, let me put you guys down so you can see. These I got for I just randomly got these. I was already at the register and then I was like, wait, can I grab these pants really quick? And I didn't even try them on, but they just like tie at the waist right there. I like the color and they're just long, flowy pants that go all the way down to the bottom. They seem like they are going to fit me pretty high waisted too. I just like that they tie and they're just a little different. I was hoping they would have an extra small, but if anything, I'll just get them kind of like snatched in at the waist, but I thought these were nice, just plain, simple, long, flowy pants. I love pants like this, especially with like a simple top. It just kind of like dresses up the outfit. And then I also got <clears throat> just the classic Zara bodysuits. This one right here. I have this in white already. The only thing about these is I wish that they, oh no, it is a thong, right? Yeah, it is a thong, hear me. Um, Cause sometimes they're like a full underwear and I don't like that. But anyway, I just got the classic Zara tank bodysuit in a size small. I have this in white and nude, but I wanted to get it in black. I also found this really simple little black dress. The material of this is so good. It's thick. It's like double layered, thick, just like really nice really really nice fabric so um it's just literally a simple thin strap spaghetti dress um i don't have a dress like this in my closet and like a simple black dress that you can wear with like sneakers or for a night out or whatever i don't know why but got that and then the last thing that i got too i think i'm gonna save this for an upcoming trip as well um this is just like an orange reddish like the color the color is so good especially against like once my skin is nice and tan well right now it's nice and tan but i'm gonna be even more tan after this weekend so it's just like an orangey red silky dress and it has like a crisscross back love 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 especially on vacation like dresses like this with like a sleek bun and like really pretty natural glowy makeup it just looks so good and then like glowy skin like putting baby oil on your skin or like sunscreen or something yes so got that i'm sure you guys will probably see this on 
Instagram, I'm assuming. But that's everything that I picked up from the store today. I also ended up getting, so I ordered some things on Amazon for this weekend and only two of them made it. The other two, for some reason, I got a message that they couldn't get delivered. I don't know why, but they are sending them back to the sender. I don't know. But I got this skirt to wear as a backup outfit for this weekend. Um, thinking of wearing it with like a one piece swimsuit uh, for the concert as an outfit. So yeah, I love that it. it's like, it has this uh, ruching on the side and it has this bow at the bottom and I can kind of bring it up if I want to and like scrunch it up even more. So thought that was cute. I know for concerts and festivals, usually people wear clothes that's kind of like this. So uh, I'm gonna see if I don't like my other outfit, then I'm gonna go for that. And this is another backup that I got in case I didn't like any of those. But these are also some that I can take on, like, on other trips or to the pool or to the beach or whatever. And it's this cover-up. So it also has like a side slit right here so I can show leg if I want to. And it's just, this one's a lot longer. It's like crochet all the way down. And I can wear this with like a white uh, one, one piece too. So I have options for this weekend in case I don't end up liking one thing or another um but yeah that's it that i got from amazon and from zara and from the mall